Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, this has been a horrible week for the cryptocurrency market but this is what happens when a market just gets extremely overextended we have basically since beginning you know, since um well since november we have a rallied from 13,500 all the way up towards 41,700 and that is an absolutely enormous increase in just well 2 months so uh, basically nearly the three four hundred percent in four months that is just crazy so we have had this pullback roughly 25 percent has been lost uh, basically in just two days and uh, that is basically what happens in this market we can go back to uh, to um 2017 where bitcoin lost half of its value in only one week but if you start analyzing this then the 20 exponential moving average looks like it is still holding. We tested it yesterday, we broke below it and rallied and basically stopped above it. And today we fell to low to basically to the 20 exponential and then stopped. So we're not trading underneath the 20. So it's not so resistant, it is basically supportive. And that is a really encouraging thing for this market. Um, however, I still think this is overextended. If you look, for example, in the weekly chart, we can see, still see that the RSI for the weekly is at uh, 82. It's better than uh, 95 as it was in, in, the, in, in its peak, but, um, but still it is fairly overextended. If you look at, the, for example, the Bollinger Band for, for this market, we're still on the, basically on the edge of the Bollinger Band. So we could fall significantly further all the way down to roughly 20,000, 21,000. I would not be surprised if that were the case. And that is similar to what basically happened here back in 2017. I'm not gonna say that it's going to be, um, history is gonna repeat itself, but this is just an enormous overextension and we have to come back to reality. And reality would be coming back towards 20,000. You look at the Fibonacci retracement. So we have the first Fibonacci retracement in the weekly at the roughly 26, 27,000. Then we have the 50 here at 22 and a half thousand. And you have the 60 here at 20 moving average at 18,187. So within this area, we should find basically the support level. And I would not be surprised if we fell down to this area. However, as I said, in the daily chart, the 20 exponential is holding. And um, as long as that is the case, we will probably bounce off the 20 exponential and go much higher from here. If we fell underneath the 20 and started trading underneath the 20, then I would be um, much more worried. And I would basically think that this will fall towards the lower part of the bullish band here in 20. And that's basically in the area of $20,000 uh, $20, Bitcoin. So at this point, as long as this is holding, this is basically a buying opportunity. If we start rallying from here, we get another green candlestick here, then 40 is basically the target in this market. And you could basically put a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average as, as a, it's a risk. So let's look at Ethereum. Sorry. There. So very similar here, we fell yesterday really hard, roughly 30% we lost in this market, rallied, we tested the, the 20 exponential yet again, we rallied all the way up towards uh, 11.42 and then broke down and now we're trading at 10.49. Uh, so if we get another candlestick here, then that is an indication that we are going to go higher in this market. If you look at technical indicators, they are, uh, well, they're more bearish than they are bullish. So the 
RSI is at 60. It's not overbought. The CCI is becoming negative bearish. The stochastic is negative. And the MACD is about to cross the signal line. And that is a bearish indication. So it may well be that we'll stay around here for some time. It has been very choppy um, today. It's gone back and forward um, quite a lot. So, so we'll basically see what basically happened. A break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50. And a break the, uh, above the 50 opens the door all the way down to the 200. And I would not be surprised if that basically happens because it has. this has also been a very volatile cryptocurrency. So let's look at uh, XRP. So nothing really has happened here today. We, uh, we have broken down the last two days. We hit the top of the Bullinger band here, at roughly 0 0.3642, uh, all the way down towards the middle of the Bullinger band. And then we rallied a little bit today, but we could not manage to get through the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average that are right here. So we're trading at the 0 0.2855. Uh, and uh, yes, a break below the 20 moving average here opens the door uh, to the lower part of the Bullinger band. If you look at technical indicators, they are basically all over the place. RSI is flat, CCI is become bullish, stochastic is becoming negative, and the MACD is basically flat. Um, if we manage to break above here and uh, go rallying towards the 50 moving average, uh, that will be a very positive indication where we're going. However, I think that we are just going to stay here uh, for technically for the time being. It looks like Bitcoin uh, is basically the cryptocurrency that is dragging all the other cryptocurrency with them. So whatever happens with that cryptocurrency, it will have an uh, effect on all of the other cryptocurrencies. So, so yes, if you want, it was probably when Bitcoin starts rallying again, you most likely will see something similar to this. So let's look at Litcoin. You can see that we broke down yesterday all the way down towards the 50 moving average, found support here, rallied all the way up towards uh, towards 145, broke down again, and now we're trading at 133. So I don't think that is, this is going to be the um, lows of this market. I think that we're going to head back towards the 50, probably the lower part of the Bullinger Band, uh, roughly 100, where we'll find um, support and then continue upwards. The reason why I say that is because these technical indicators are looking dreadful for this market. And this was a way more volatile than, for example, uh, uh, Ethereum and, uh, and Bitcoin wars was. Uh, yes, these are less known cryptocurrencies and they are more volatile. They will drop significantly faster compared to, uh, for example, Bitcoin. But if you look at the Fibonacci retracement for this, we can see that we landed exactly at the 50 Fibonacci retracement here yesterday and then rallied. Now we found support at the 38.2. Um, but I think that we are probably going to head back towards the 50 moving average. If that is supported yet again, then we may bounce from there. So let's look at NEO. So we fell yesterday from 26 all the way down to 20.20 20 and then rallied all the way up towards 24, 24 and then back down to 21.10. So a lot of volatility in this cryptocurrency. I don't think that is going, this is going to be the end of it. Um, if we look, for example, at the Fibonacci retracements for this, eh, they look like this. So the reason why we found support here is because we ran into the first we managed retracement. The 50 is down here. And I think it's not until we get down to the 50 that we are going to see this market continue up. We'll have the 20 exponential right underneath. Technical indicators for this are uh, turning around. So we'll probably see something similar to this. A lot of choppiness up and down and then we'll go higher. Um, yes, we also ran into a major resistance here. The previous highs here. Of roughly 2572 uh, and then broke down. So this cryptocurrency um, 
at its height was here, roughly at 93.91, and basically has fallen all the way down to this area here. So the other cryptocurrency has have also had its top. They have had its, uh, if you go to the weekly, we were actually much higher. We were all way up here at uh, 144. So all of them have had their tops, previous tops, and then rallied back. If we say that this will rally back towards its previous highs, then you're looking at a gain of roughly 7x, and that is a, a very, very good trade. So some people are thinking, yes, probably just take the chance and of investing here, and hopefully it will go back to its previous highs in a few months or probably years. That is probably, um, yes, that is possible. But I think that we are going to go much lower. 20 was supported here. I wouldn't be surprised if we went all the way down to 17 before we go higher. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.